hello and welcome in this video i'm actually going to do um how to upload your documents the kyc um stuff okay so in order to do that what you have to do is to head over to this um option and then you can actually expand this um, menu and then you click on back office okay so in my account right now i've got passes so what i wanted to do was actually i clicked on here that says e pass i wanted to transfer to a new member and i and then i got this message that says your your kyc is not approved so you are not authorized to access this page so the first thing that you need to understand what kyc is basically it's called it's an abbreviation for know your client policy it's used by so many companies to um approve that they're actually dealing with a human being so um to do the kyc policy i think i go under my account and then click on where it says upload kyc okay so once you uh, click on that let's so as i have actually uh stated earlier on like to avoid fraud this is what you have to do okay so i'm actually gonna fill in my details here and there is uh, name address city state date of birth and uh please okay the front id the front part of your id and the back part and then here they need please upload a photo holding your id and then here please upload your proof of residence so let me just show you what you have to do on the uh, front id or back id and the photo of me and then the proof of, uh, of residence and i'm just going to quickly explain what you should upload there okay so i always keep my passport and my documents on my computer so this is actually a good example of a proper scanned um passport as you can see that my face is clear my name there is clear as well so this is the front part this is the back part of your of your passport that's um that's it and let me show you an example of an id so this is an example of an id as you can see that my id is properly scanned it's very clear and if someone who is actually reading this can actually uh read that okay so if you want to take the back you just turn it back and then you take a picture or you scan uh these are the things that you should just upload okay on my proof of residence i'm actually going to use my telephone bill okay so my telephone bill has got my name it has got the address that i've actually input and then it has got the statement so you should not upload a proof of residence that is uh, three months old like let's say you're uploading um your proof of residence in may and you upload your you upload a proof of residence that is a date of um of like of like june last year okay or january last year okay so you need to make sure that it doesn't go beyond the past three months okay that's 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 the normal kyc uh that actually uh happens so let me just uh, uh do that and upload the details okay so right now i've filled in all these are the details and make sure that where you see the red star it's a mandate that you should actually fill in that detail and then where you don't see the red star it's actually an option so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to click on the front of my id okay and i have to check what my id is where is my id okay okay there it is so what i'm just gonna do i'm just gonna double click that and then uh it says passport because i've actually uploaded passport and then i'm gonna do the same uh because my passport is with the front and the back as well so um okay so like, where is my passport where is my passport where is it okay there we go there it is and then that's that and then here where it says photo of me i'm just going to do that on the last part but right now let me just upload the proof of residence i'm actually going to click on that and then um, this is my proof of residence that i've actually shown you that time and right now let me now uh do the this um photo of me okay so let me just show you an example of of, of what this should look like now i need to explain the photo of me so as you can see that this is the passport that i've actually uploaded as my proof of id okay when it comes to photo of me holding my id this is what they actually mean all they mean is take a picture of yourself looking into the camera and hold 
the ID next to your face. That's what it is, okay? So one thing that you should make sure that you do for uh, your verification to go through much faster, okay? The first thing that you should take note of, number one, your eyes should be looking into the camera, into the lens, okay? If you're using a cell phone, let your eyes look straight into the lens, okay? And make sure that your, your, your ID is actually flashed so that they can actually match with your uh, ID that you've actually um, uploaded. And then also make sure that your background is, is clear, it doesn't have any distractions. As you can see that my background is gray uh, and this is what they actually mean by photo of me. Okay, so I'm actually going to upload this. Now on photo of me, I'm actually going to click on that and then I'm going to look on photo of me and that's the uh, four of me holding an ID so everything has actually been added up I've filled all the stuff and then all I have to do right now is just to hit submit okay just to hit submit and then um, just wait for the notification that actually comes up and then when I try to do this I just bumped into an error and then it says um, please upload images of documents in JPEG format only JPEG format only simply means an image format okay so what i had uploaded which is not jpeg is my proof of residence is that it was actually in pdf format so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna convert the pdf to jpeg format to a picture format if you don't know how to do that okay go and ask a graphic designer just find a graphic designer if you have good pdf formats just go and ask a graphic designer maybe you want to use a bank statement as a proof of residence it's in pdf Go and ask a graphic designer that I have a PDF file that I need converted to uh, to JPEG or just Google how to convert PDF to JPEG. You can actually find how to do that. So I'm actually going to post this video and go ahead and do that and then do the uh, uploading from start as well. So I had to uh, convert the proof of residence to make it a JPEG. So as you can see right now, it says passport.jpg dot jpg here dot jpg dot jpg this simply means that it's actually in jpeg format i said you can actually get your graphic designer to do this for you okay and i think elements our contact element support so that they can add other options like png and pdf so that they can be accepted when you're actually uploading so what i'm going to do again is i'm just going to hit submit and um and see what happens <laughs> and lastly and finally i got a message that we are currently processing your verification allow some time uh, we have just added your kyc there are many requests to process so kyc uploaded successfully so what happens is element support is going to go and check your kyc know your client uh, documents um, if you have uploaded clear documents, if you have if uploaded um, genuine documents and then they're going to approve your account, then I can be able to make withdrawals and some other stuff that um, that I can actually do within the platform. So with that being said, if you loved this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and if you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. And um, yeah, if you want me to do more videos, please just give me ideas of what videos I can do for you guys. With that being said, bye for now.